Hello, third grade, and welcome to lesson 6-3. In this lesson, we're going to talk about measuring area using standard units. Now, we talked about non-standard units last time. This time, we're going to work on standard units. Let's go ahead and watch our short video and then jump into our notes and guided practice together. How can you measure area using standard units of length? Meg bought this United States sticker. What is the area of her sticker in square centimeters? You can measure area using standard units of area. A square centimeter is one standard unit of area. Here are some standard units of both length and area. How do the names of the standard units of length relate to the names of the standard units of area? The units of area contain the names of the units of length, inch, foot, centimeter, meter, as well as the word square. What would one square meter look like? It would be a square with each side one meter long. Now for this section, we're going to decide what unit of area we're going to use. So we're going to first look at the poster and we know the poster is three feet by five feet. Now, since we're measuring in feet, we know that our area is going to be measured in square feet. Next, we have the classroom floor. The floor measures 8 meters by 12 meters. So if we're measuring the length in meters, that means our area will also be measured using meters, but we will use square meters. The postcard measures 7 centimeters by 10 centimeters, which means the area of the postcard will be measured in square centimeters. And last, we have the book, which measures six inches by 11 inches, which means it will be measured, the area of the book will be measured in square inches. To find the area of Meg's United States sticker, count the unit squares. What square unit is used to measure the area of this sticker? Square centimeters are used to measure the area of this sticker. How does the grid help you find the area? Now, when we put the grid over the sticker, it helps us to see exactly how many of those square centimeters fit inside of the sticker, how many of them we need to cover the entire region that we're looking at. If you take a look at this, you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six of these squares, or you can say there's two squares times three squares will give me the area of this particular sticker. The grid shows how many square centimeters cover the sticker. How many unit squares cover this sticker? Select your answer. Six unit squares cover this sticker. The sticker is measured in square centimeters. So the area of the sticker is six square centimeters. Now you know how to measure area using standard units of length. All right, let's go ahead and get into our notes for this section. Now again, we're working on standard units. So our standard units that we're going to focus on today are inches, feet, centimeters, and meters. And we can use any one of these to help us measure and find the area. Now, when we're just measuring the length of the side, we use just the unit by itself just inches or, or how many feet it is or centimeters or meters. And I gave you the abbreviations or the short way of writing the names of those uh, units in parentheses. Whenever we want to find the area, we have to put the word square with it because we're working in square shaped units. So either square inches, square feet, square centimeters or square meters. Now remember, Square units are in the shape of a square. That's why we call them square units. 
with the length of that unit on each side. So if I'm measuring one square centimeter, I'm going to draw a, cent a square that measures one centimeter on each one of the sides. And that's going to measure one square centimeter. If I want to measure an inch, So if I want to make a square unit that's one square inch, I would measure one inch on each side and make that square shape. Now here you can see the difference. I did measure these with a the ruler that one square centimeter is smaller than one square inch. So remember what we talked about in our previous lesson. The size of the unit that you're using determines or decides the area of the shape. So if you're using smaller units, your area is going to have a greater number because you need more of them to cover your shape. If you're using, using a larger unit, then you're going to have a smaller number in your area because you need fewer of them or less of them to cover your shape. <clears throat> Let's go on to our guided practice. Now for question number one, it says if Meg stick, sticker measured two inches by three inches, what would the area be? So annotate your question two inches by three inches, and we want to underline what we're being asked, what would the area be? So I have to find if it's two times three, I'm going to do two inches times three inches, which is going to give me six square inches. Now I have to write square inches, remember, because that is the area. If you don't write square inches, your answer is not correct. You have to make sure you're writing squared, whatever unit you're using, so that you know that you are working with area. For question number two, it says Zoe paints a wall that measures eight feet by 10 feet. What units should Zoe use for the area of the wall? Explain. So again, eight feet, 10 feet. What units should Zoe use for the area? So if she's measuring with feet, she should use square feet. If she, the length is measured in feet, then the area should be measured in square feet. Now for, for numbers three and four, they gave you a shape and they gave you a unit and they asked you to find the area of that shape. So this is our shape right here. And I'll shade it in for you guys so you can see it more clearly. And we know that one of these squares measures one square foot. So this is four feet on this side by three feet on this side. So four times three is going to give me 12 square feet. Same thing we're going to do over on this one. I'll shade this in for you so you're able to see it more clearly. They told us that this is one square meter. So this shape measures two meters by six meters. So two meters times six meters will give me 12 square meters. Now remember to pay attention to what unit they're telling you because you have to put the units on your answer, especially when you're working with area it is very, very important that you're using the correct unit. That's it for this lesson. If you guys have any questions, let me know third grade. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day. Take care, bye-bye.